Hello friend, I am Sagarana from Codegear. Today we are going to talk about menu in Android. What is menu? It is a primary collection of a menu item for an activity. When user click, the user gets lot of different options to choose from and that are the item. So what do you mean by that? Let's figure it out. In example, look here. This is a menu icon and when you click this, then it will show this different item this selection a selection b selection c and settings all are the items and when user click in one of the item then different activity or a fragment will open so here are other example open your android studio go go to the file and click it here and hover over the new and create a new project for a menu item so I'll write here menu app and click to the next and here we can select anyone so but the most preferable now is a API level 19 and it will target above and up to 19 API level so click to the next and we'll choose empty activity and click to this here and finish the project so now in android studio will create all the project griddle files for us so it will take time this is our complete setup and this is our folder structure and this is a java file for a logic and here is a resource file for a layout and this activity underscore main dot xml is a layout for an activity so this is hello world and so we'll do nothing here just we'll make one menu to do that so to do that we have to go in a resource folder and create a brand new folder that go to directory here and write a name menu here and click to ok so under the menu we will create another xml file so that is menu underscore x under me menu you can write any name here menu i'll write only menu so click to ok and go to the text part and write here item and id give the id name here i'll give user and what it was saying we have to give the title name also so go here and give title name of user so i'll copy this one and paste it here a couple of times and go here and just write anything just setting setting i'll write small f and in title go write a setting so here i'll give a id remember one thing the id must be different for each individual item so here i'll write login and just write log in and here the here i will write log out log out so friend user click the user get a options of these things user settings login log out so here in menu.xml will see these things when user click here and this item a will appears as an option to select from so how to inflate that is how to populate the data in this main activity files that is activity underscore main dot xml files so we can populate by going in main activity dot java 
and write a few lines of code below the onCreate function. Just create one predefined function on create on create option menu. This one public boolean on create option menu. Click to this one and just leave all the things as it is and we'll add one line of code to inflate the menu in activity underscore main dot xml get menu inflator it is a predefined function and inflate that menu r dot menu that we have created here menu on comma menu it will take menu as a parameter another menu so this menu we are just writing here r dot menu dot menu resource that is resource folder and we are just uh, extracting or getting this menu and the menu file name is this one menu and this menu is second argument and inflate function takes two argument and this menu is come from here this menu and get what does get menu inflator do it is call it calls the function inflate that inflate function is defined in get menu inflator so we can say that get menu inflator helps to inflate the menu into activity underscore main dot xml so so run a virtual device look here here is our menu button so when you click this it will appear look here so user setting login logout so here is our menu app when you click in this menu icon we will get the item as an options so when you click this nothing will happen so how to make this possible that when you click this the next activity will open or something will happen so let's make a code a little bit of code so write on option item selected this first line look here and click to here so here just write if item dot get item id equal to r dot id dot and that here we have given given the id in menu this user setting login logout these are the id and you using this id we can find which item the user have selected so i'll write first user and here i'll do nothing just i'll make a simple message that user have clicked this so here user activity and length short dot so just like this we'll just copy this one and paste one time three times three times and user here instead of user we'll use setting now and here login and here logout so here we'll write setting activity and we will write here login and we will write here logout so this is our code and I will describe this code on option item selected is a function which helps to know which item is blink clicked by a user so it takes one argument as a parameter that is menu item and item and we will match this item with the id that we have given in menu if that id will get match then we will make a run code under the two curly braces of that id user example when user click on user then this code will run and similar to that all things are same so let's run our code by clicking here 
so click here and when you click this user you will see user activity and again when you click login then login activity so hope you understand this tutorial please like and subscribe our channel for more videos thank you